All right, and here's my slightly longer review of the Sony WF SP800N noise canceling wireless earbuds. I don't like them. I tried them for a couple of weeks. I paid about $100 for these, hoping that they would be good enough to replace my uh, OG Samsung Galaxy Buds that are still kicking. Here's my problem with them. Uh, two main problems, honestly. Number one, the left earbud here, it kept reconnecting and cutting out on me. And no matter any other feature of the earbuds, how good they sound or fit or whatever else, if you got one that's always kicking out and reconnecting, that's a no-go and, and you know it. Uh, I updated the firmware, I repaired them, it didn't help, it just was what it was. The issue I had past that was that I, so so these are the, and you see there, these are the extra base model. Um, yeah, they sound good if you can push them far enough in your ear hole to get the base to come out. And this is the right side one. Um, yep, there's the right side. You really got to dig and twist and dig and twist and push these things in your ear to get the base to come alive. And I could never really get it to work unless I took off the the retention piece here, the part that holds this thing tight to your ear. If I did that and then I put the smallest ear tips on here uh, and then pushed them in, they sounded great uh, while they weren't reconnecting and while I was working out. But when your ears started warming up and it started warming up the silicone and the silicone gets soft, they start coming out and popping out and you know forget running if you've got these pieces here off. So I put the, the, this kit comes with three different sets and sizes of the tips and two different sizes of these. And I put the smallest size of this on and the smallest size of this on. And even with that, like it would stay in your ear, but you don't get any bass. It doesn't sound very good at all. Certainly not as good as my original uh, Galaxy Buds do. So they're going back and I'm sorry, Best Buy, but You've got a good return policy and I'm grateful because even at $100, it's not worth it, especially when they keep reconnecting. So if you, you know, I, I, know, I didn't even get to test a whole charge on these. I'm sure it probably does last uh, quite a while because these are, these are pretty meaty, which is another reason why these things had a tendency to fall out is because they, they stick way out from your ear hole. I mean, you can just tell there how big they are and how much they would stick out. And that puts a lot of weight cantilevered against this earbud tip that sticks in your ear. And they come out real easy. Um, even when you have these on, if they're not sized right, they're going to come out. So my suggestion, if you're looking at these, uh, hard pass. Um, I'm not impressed with them. I didn't like the Samsung Galaxy Buds Plus. They fit great. They sounded awful. Sent those back too. So hopefully I'll find something new and, and better. And when I do, I will let you know. But uh, as I said on the short review, they suck.